Hi, this is Betty. You're watching GDCMMA.com. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back to GDC MMA. As always, Garrett Fraser, let's dive right into UFC 156. Great title fight, Aldo and Edgar, but a great card as well. Uh, you know, as we usually do, we'll talk about sort of the top five fights on the card, starting in this case with Benavides and McCall, a couple of flyweights, both coming off a loss, uh, but both exciting fighters. How do you think this one breaks down? Well, I think the top four or five guys in this division will be fighting each other for the next couple of years. Um, I just think they're, they're really evenly stacked as far as talent is concerned in that division, and it's always exciting. Um, with Benavides and McCall, I really think that Benavides is probably just going to top him off a little bit, um, skill-wise uh, and overall package. So if I have to pick one, I'm going to say Benavides' decision. Okay, I'll go opposite you. I'll take McCall. It's a bit of a coin toss for me on this one, uh, but I'll just I'll take McCall just for argument's sake. Uh, heading into the next one, John Fitch, Damian Maya. Actually, this is a great fight. Uh, although, you know, a lot of people think Fitch is one of the more boring fighters in, in, in the history of the game. He's coming off probably the most exciting fight of his career, uh, and Maya's been on a tear as well, so it's a pretty close, close matchup. How do you think it goes down? Well, for the hardcore MMA fan, this fight is an absolute dream. Um, it's insane what's going on here, right? You've got Fitch, who has had so many things going on in his life you know the Johnny Hendricks fight we find out that he wasn't really prepared for that fight he took it just because he needed a paycheck and he gets knocked out whole bunch of stuff's going on outside of his life you know he had that documentary that he didn't get to air until just this year and all that stuff's happening now is he's got a he's got the most exciting fight of his career and a win under his belt now right but Maya is the real deal like people thought when he was at middleweight that he could have tested you know for the belt obviously when he got there that fight was awful and he had no chance but in this division he really seems like you know he's the real deal at this weight and uh, if he catches anything you know it's good night or, or your arms you know getting ripped off um, so I think these two guys are right at the very top and whoever wins this fight will be right at the very top. In the top. conversation, and maybe even for, for a title. Definitely, 100%. Yeah. So, so you think does take it, though? Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. We keep saying this, but it is literally a coin toss. Um, I think Fitch has all the components of his game to win this fight, but I think Maya's going to win it. Do you I think do. he's going to sub him? I do. Wow, okay. I, you know, For me, Fitch has proven he's a pretty tough guy to sub, um, and I think a lot of the time it ends up being those fights where, where he's, he's got someone on his back that end up being the boring ones, but ones he usually wins. Uh, and for that reason alone, I'm going to take Fitch in this one. Uh, I think he's going to grind out a decision here. Uh, moving on though, Overeem, Bigfoot Silva, uh, Overeem sans the juice this time. <laughs> we'll we'll see what that looks like. Uh, Bigfoot, you know, for me, I don't think I don't put him at at the top of the food chain, but he is a, a giant, and he has beaten some some pretty big names out there in the past. Uh, who do you think takes this one though? This fight is just like, it's like a circus sideshow kind of thing, right? The, right? You know, if you look at them in the ring, it's, it's going to be insane. But, you know, the real deal is that Overeem isn't a real person. He's a, he's a manufactured <laughs> being, right? Um, back in the Pride days. Well, he is a real person. He's got a real heart. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's just he's just some oh, sort of plastic or or, yeah. or fake made person, you know, right. or or fighter, as I say. You know, I mean, you don't get that big by just he, eating he was horse created meat. in a laboratory. Exactly. Yeah. You don't get that big by just eating chicken and horse meat, right? right. But um, Bigfoot, I don't believe in him at all. I mean, I think he got lucky in a couple ways. I don't believe in his skill set. I think that he's going to get murdered, just yep. like he did against Cain Velasquez here. I think Overeem's going to just run him over. I agree. I, th I'm, I don't think he makes it out of the first round in this one. Okay, so we're on the same page. We're both taking Overeem there. Yeah. Uh, Rashad Little Nog. This is a cool fight. You know, Rashad, obviously, he's one of the, the best guys in the division. Has been forever. His only losses come against the top, top, top tier. Uh, that's two losses, I believe. Uh, his last one against Jones, four wins prior to that. Uh, Lil Nog, he's been a little bit more up and down, but he is a Noguera. You can never count a Noguera out. That's the truth. Um, so, but what do you think happens here? You, you said it all there. Um, never count a no, out a Noguera, but Rashad at this division will always stay at the very top, and I think he'll, as long as Jones help, holds the belt, he won't be able to get to the very, very top. Um, and I think eventually it will see him go down and wait, which I think he should do. But while well, he's fighting so well at this weight, why mess around with it, right? Um, I really think that he's more of an overall package than Little Nog, and I think his wrestling prowess will 
will will shine here. Do you think it's gonna be a snoozer? Or do you... Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But I do think it will go decision. I think Rashad will win the decision. I agree with you. I think Rashad takes the decision as well. Big fight of the night, though. Aldo Edgar. Interesting, mainly because Aldo's been out of the game for a while. So you know, is he gonna be a shell of the guy that was lighting up the division forever, uh, or? You know, do we see an Aldo that, that can never kind of reach that that height again? Um, and then Edgar, he's had a, a, some disappointments over the last while, but he's always right there. And even half the time when he loses, half the people who see the fight thinks he won. So, yeah. you know what I mean? For sure. But who do you think wins this one? Well, I mean, you said it there. I, I think Edgar won his last fight, but I'm super happy that this fight is happening. It's a super fight. It's a fight people have been talking about for a long it's time. It's a great fight. Yeah, and I'm glad he's down this way because I think it is his natural weight. Um, I do think he could take the belt again at 155. Um, unfortunately, I think even though this is his natural weight, coming in right away and facing Aldo right off the bat, I think was the bad move because Aldo is the real deal, oh, yeah. man. He is a killer. Is and good. I think that... Do you think he will be, though? Like, do you think this, this layoff, there was a motorcycle accident in yeah. there? Yeah, he's got a lot going on. There was a motorcycle ac accident there. In, in his personal life, stuff going on. He changed management, I believe, and some of his team members. Stuff like that's going on. So you never know if that gets right. into his head. Right. But... Uh, if any, if if eighty percent of the Aldo, which I think is like you know against Hominick, I don't think he was a complete package, but he still ended up pulling off that win. You know, if if eighty or seventy five, eighty percent of Aldo that shows guy up, beats an Edgar, beats him. Okay, unfortunately, because right. I love Edgar, but it's just Aldo's too good, man. It's it's too good. All right, well I'm gonna go with Frankie. If you're gonna take Aldo, I'm gonna take Frank. I'm gonna take. I respect that. I'm gonna take Little Rocky. I respect that. <laughs> and, uh, we'll see what happens though. It's gonna be a great card. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff coming up this year, a lot to talk about, so make sure you keep tuning in to GDC MMA. But for now, Garrett, Fraser, we are out.